by now you've probably all seen what these new Galaxy Buds Live look like. And you know what? They're actually pretty different. They look completely different to every other pair of wireless headphones that you can go out and pick up. And I feel like the initial idea that Samsung came up with to make these look different has worked. Kind, kind of worked. Right away, just by looking at them and that bean design, you can tell that they are Samsung's new Galaxy Buds Live. When you go to unbox these, as you probably expected, there isn't really much of an unboxing, there isn't much in that box. You get the Galaxy Buds themselves, you then get that USB-C charger, then you get those two extra tips which you can actually swap out on the Buds themselves. I thought I'd actually really hate the design of this case because it is really square. It's called, is it squircle? Is that what they call it? It's square-ish. And I thought it wouldn't be to fit in your pocket but actually you know what it's really small and it fits in your pocket really nice and easily but the buds themselves like oh i don't i don't know the color of these buds puts me off like honestly it really does the case color is pretty perfect it's that matte bronze finish which is really nice but when you open up that case you're then greeted by that horrible bronze shiny chromey color it doesn't look very good when they're in your ear, they just stand out a little bit too much. They're just a little bit too flashy. I don't want that from headphones. I want something that just sits right in my ear and just is a bit inconspicuous. Getting them in your ear for the first time, I don't know if I was just being stupid, but it just took me a couple of minutes just to figure out how they actually fit in your ear. I think most people will just, for a minute or so, look at them, stare at them, try and put them in and then realize, oh no, that's the wrong way. I've got to say though, as much as I think these look a little bit stupid, the sound quality from these buds is excellent. I find them to be quite bassy. They're pretty loud as well. So when you're listening to music and podcasts, there's no problem with that. But in the couple of days that I've used them, I've realized that if you have them in your ear for too long, it just starts to hurt. So like my right ear, hurts when I have them in for over an hour or so. I don't know if that is just the design of what they're like or that rubber tip just kind of pushing on the top of my ear, but it is just a little bit uncomfortable. The buds also come with that active noise cancellation, but I have literally no idea when that is on and when that's off. I actually have to go into the phone itself to figure out whether it's on or off because it just doesn't make a difference at all. I'll press it and it will make that little boo sound, but I don't know whether that means it's on or off because the sound just doesn't change. It, like, it doesn't cut out any background sound at all. It doesn't seem like that music is kind of closed in on your ears or anything. It's just, honestly, it's just a bit rubbish. You might as well just have it off the entire time because it will increase the battery life, not a huge amount, but just a little bit. And I really hope that they can fix this with some sort of software update. I don't have a clue whether that's possible or not, but if they can, then please, Samson, just fix it because rubbish. The call quality seems pretty decent on these and I won't talk about it loads now because I'll talk about that in the full review of them but from the people I've spoke to while I've been on the phone using them they've said that it doesn't sound that bad. Apparently it sounds better than AirPod Pros but like I said I will show all of that in the full review. I'm not a huge headphones guy and I don't really care that much about sound quality coming in and out of these things but if I'd spent 179 quid on these I'd be pretty disappointed. The only reason I'm not more disappointed is because if you ordered the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, they came free with it, so it's a free pair of headphones, so you can't complain too much. But if you went out and you bought these, it, yeah, that's then a different a different thing. I don't see any big reason really to upgrade from those Galaxy Buds Plus that Samsung released a couple of months ago or last year, so if you're thinking about it, don't bother. That's the first impressions then of those Galaxy Buds Live. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these. What do you think of the design? Do you think it looks a bit stupid? Because it does. If you really enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing and a little thumbs up as well. And until next time, see you later.